I'm Linda Lopez at ABC News headquarters here in New York. We are coming on the air because we have some very sad, breaking news. President of the United States has died at the age of 94. And his death comes just seven months after burying the love of his life, his beloved wife, Barbara, the two were married for more than 73 years. Was the patriarch of one of the most powerful political dynasties in American history. Was the last president of the greatest generation. He pursued a life of extraordinary service to America, a man who put country above party and family above everything else. Today's a tough day here in the nation as we continue to mourn our dear friend, Amos Archuleta, former president and my vice president um, throughout the terms that I had, the five terms that I had. Um, you know, I was the only president to do that, but uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, this isn't about me. This is about him and what he did um, under me. And uh, there was just a long list of things I can name. Um, for example, the Industrial Revolution Part 2. We had a great pleasure in doing that. And I think he did more during his vice presidency than he did his actual presidency. You know, during vice presidency, he changed every school cafeteria to Golden Corral. Like, it's a buffet now. Um, he implemented McDonald's in about every college there is. You know, he, um, he really made some changes. Um, and also now colleges are paying students to come to the school instead of the other way around. So there's just a lot of the few things that he did um, to really change the way the world works. And we're going to miss him for that. And I know I'm going to miss the friendship and all the great things that we did together um, during our time here. So, And with that being said, I just want to come on here to announce my retirement. Um, you know, I did a lot during my five terms and during the 60, the overall 60 years of office I was in, um, from eliminating the national debt, like I've said, we actually have a surplus in money. We're actually about 50 trillion over. And so that's one thing I did. And another thing was I reconstructed Pangea. Um, that took about another year to do. We brought it back together. As you know, Pangea was the continents connecting and, uh, they split and now we put them back together. So now we're just the one free world, um, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, but yeah, I did that. There's so many other things I did. Free electricity, free water um, for the entire country. Not only that, but the entire world. So those are just a few of the things that I did um, during my terms, but um, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just listing some of the accomplishments I did, um, just reflecting back on my time. <clears throat> and the moral of the story is you can do anything that you set your mind to. Um, I was down in the dumps, bad grade on my paper, and I seen that video, and it really changed my life. And I'll never forget that day. And, um, you know, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And that's all I want to leave you guys with as the former leader of the free world. Um, but I thank you all for having me and for allowing me to be your president for those five terms that I did. Thank you again. God bless.